The GMR Group's vision is to be an institution in perpetuity that will build entrepreneurial organizations making a difference to society through creation of value. A group driven by values and beliefs. Humility. Entrepreneurship. Teamwork and relationships deliver the promise. Learning. Social responsibility. And most important, respect for individual. The group started in 1978 in Shri Kakulam district of Andhra Pradesh much before the launch of economic reform. Being compelled to operate in the license permit regime, it started 28 different businesses in jute, ferro alloys, sugar, etc. and also entered banking through a significant stake in Vaisya Bank. With economic liberalization in the 1990s, the group went into consolidation strategy by divesting several industries, including selling its majority stake in Vaisya Bank to ING Group demonstrating no emotional attachment to any specific business and realizing the importance of infrastructure for the development of the country, the group entered this sector to be a project developer and operator. GMR has since been first-timers in power, highways and airports, creating world-class assets. The group today has eight power generating assets with a total capacity of 2136.8 megawatts. It has 2488 megawatts under construction and another four power generation projects under various stages of development with a diversified fuel mix comprising of coal, natural gas and hydro. Recently, it has completed the setting up of a 600 megawatt coal powered plant in Varora and 700 megawatts of Unit 1 and Unit 2 of coal powered plant in Kamalanga. Besides these, the group also has around 2.6 billion tons of coal reserves in mines located in Indonesia and 645 million tons of reserves in Rampia, India. The group's expansion is not restricted to the power sector alone. The GMR group today is one of the largest national players in the highway sector. The group already has eight operational highways, totaling 3,170 lane kilometers, and one highway of 178 lane kilometers nearing completion. From power and highways, the group set its eyes on the skies. In 2004, the GMR Group ventured into the airport sector when it won the mandate to develop the Rajiv Gandhi International Airport at Shamshabad, Hyderabad. The airport was inaugurated on 14th March 2008, well within three years of laying the foundation stone, setting a new benchmark for the country's aviation industry, the first Greenfield Public-Private Partnership Airport Project. It has been among the best airports in the world in terms of airport service quality. GMR is also creating a large urban infrastructure around the Hyderabad airport, a new aerotropolis with next generation greenfield city infrastructure to attract investments from across the world. In early 2006, GMR Group won the prestigious project to modernize and operate Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport. The first phase of the modernization comprising of a 4.4-kilometer-long runway, a low-cost Terminal 1D, and the iconic Integrated Terminal 3 were completed in a record time of 37 months. T3 is one of the largest terminals in the world, offering features such as 78 aero bridges and other superior passenger amenities. It is also the world's number two airport in terms of airport service quality. The group's first international foray, the brand new Sabiha Gochan International Airport, a terminal at Istanbul, Turkey, was commissioned in October 2009 and completed again in a record time of 18 months, a year ahead of schedule. The group also entered the exciting and very popular field of cricket 
by winning the franchisee rights for Delhi's 2020 Indian Premier League cricket team, the Delhi Daredevils, through its sports entity, GMR Sports. For GMR, institution building is woven with and runs alongside business building. Institution building means taking a long-term, sustainable view, value-based leadership, social responsibility, and stakeholder alignment. Ensuring peak organization health through continuous process improvement, latest technologies, planning and risk management, high-performance work culture, and a robust leadership pipeline are the key elements of this journey. A well-crafted family constitution leads the way for superior governance and perpetuity in GMR. GMR Group believes that its commitment transcends business gains. This translates to a deep sense of ownership and practice of the concept of social entrepreneurship. The GMR Varalakshmi Foundation constantly demonstrates this through its engagement with the underserved communities in the areas of education, health and hygiene, community development and empowerment of rural youth. Going forward, the group will consolidate and strengthen its presence across its business verticals, spanning the sectors of airports, energy, highways and urban infrastructure. The quest that began with a fledging jute business has burgeoned into a mammoth enterprise, participating in a perpetual effort to create a better world. In pursuit of excellence, the group achieved several awards. GMR, creating tomorrow, today.